first and foremost, why is there? Why have you guys decided that there's a need for this climate network? So all three of us attended the strikes. We all sort of got in contact over social media, and we decided that it would actually be a good idea to have a sort of centralised group of people who we um, we could call upon if ever there was anything that we needed to do in terms of representing uh, the youth movement of climate and climate change. Um, so all three of us got together and we started discussing it, put our heads together. We talked a bit to the Climate Change Coalition as well, and they mentioned something about having a youth wing set up. We decided against this in the end for several reasons, and now we have an affiliation with them um, as our own individual student climate network. And so through that, we organised the climate strikes, which is what everyone sort of knows us for. But we do some more stuff on the back of that as well. So at the moment, we're trying to organise a meeting with um, Minister Boot, and we've got a couple of other things coming up as well. And so Archie and Emily, you guys are both from Castle Russian. Yeah. And Kira, you're from Balakameen. Yeah. Are you hoping to sort of draft in, obviously, reps from other schools? Yes, we're just, uh, we find our contacts in the other schools. And after the meeting, which we have on Friday, our launch at evening, we can hopefully get some more members from each school. And we're aiming to have a core group of 10 students from two from each of the main high schools on the island. And I, I guess, what, what kind of role do you expect the, the group to sort of play? So a lot of it would just be sort of lobbying, um, talking to um, school staff, so head teachers, head of years, etc., um, trying to get in contact with school councils and do things within your own school that can um, improve the school's climate uh, carbon footprint, so reducing plastic and so on. is something that we're quite committed to at the moment. Um, however, there would also be other things, so attending meetings and... Um, like we are mentioning, um, meeting with Jeffrey Boot, we would like to have a, a larger portion of us there, so perhaps 10 of us would be good. Um, and what do you anticipate the aims of this, this group to, to be? Uh, well, we're hoping really for the youth to have more of a voice, especially on the Isle of Man. I feel like a lot of students would agree that we don't feel we can express our opinions so with the student climate network we're getting the youthful opinion and uh, views on what we see as a really big problem in modern society is there really an appetite for this in the schools amongst students obviously you guys are testament to to that but on a larger scale throughout the schools is is the climate crisis something that is of a concern to many people? Because I know, you know, growing up, there's, of course, you guys are in the thick of studying now. There's boyfriends, there's girlfriends on the scene. Is this something that's really a, a deal for people? I would say there, there definitely is, because we've got uh, over 150 students for the last, uh, for the first time at Crotus, which we organised. And there's a big movement for stopping plastics. I did a petition in our school, Castle Russian, and I got 290 signatures from a range of students, which is very good to see. And what do you make of, obviously, events that have took place in London? Does that kind of encourage you to take more action locally, I suppose? Yeah, definitely. It's it's really nice to see not only students just getting in once a month, but adults also getting involved and uh, showing that they also agree with us so we're not alone anymore. It's adults and students and everyone alike. And just tell us a little bit about the, the launch night on, on Friday. Sort of why, what, how's it come about, and what can people expect? So we want to raise awareness of our new group. Um, it's at seven pm. It's at the Manx Legion on the Quay. Um, we're going to do a bit of presentation about who we are, and we're going to sort of do a bit of Q and A. See if there's anyone from around the schools who want to become a part of it. It just gives everyone a chat, a chance to chat with us, and sort of see what we're about, really.